Kayla Harrison remains undefeated in her MMA career. So uh, let's see, 11, uh, 12 and 0. Wednesday was the final fight under her current contract with BFL. Harrison, a judoko by trade, who said twice an Olympic champion at 78 kilos in London. That was 2012, Rio 2016. Mark Raimondi reports on combat sports for ESPN. He's here to give us context to this fight that we saw tonight. First, we'll work on what we saw tonight before we move ahead. Workmanlike, solid B, impressive. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty impressive for Kayla Harrison. She was a huge favorite, John, so nothing too shocking or surprising here. She did what she had to do. She took her time, and she got the finish like she promised she would. And, you know, now she's uh, one of the hottest free agents in, in recent memory in mixed martial arts. Let's talk about free agency. We mentioned her contract PFL is done. She could go back. She could move on. Explain the options that are kind of open here. I, I mean, I think everyone, the first the first thing you think of is the UFC. Can Kayla Harrison go to the UFC? The answer is yes, she absolutely could. There are some complications, though. Uh, the person that would be the most compelling opponent for her in the UFC, John, would be Amanda Nunes, of course, the UFC women's bantamweight and featherweight champion. However, they are teammates. They are good friends at American Top Team in Florida. So that's not so much of an attractive fight for them right now. I don't think they would, uh, you know, neither of them have said they would never do it, but it doesn't seem like they're all too excited about that fight right now. Uh, you know, Harrison can still come into the UFC, but the 145 pound division there in the UFC is not is not stacked. It's, it's a pretty thin division, although someone like a Holly Holm could be an interesting opponent for her. Then there's a Bellator where she could go and fight Chris Cyborg, which would be, you know, one of the biggest fights in women's MMA history. And then another option would be staying in PFL. She's already made $2 million the last two seasons. She'd be the favorite to win again next year. And and she, she told me uh, recently, John, that, uh, you know, she adopted her two uh, her, her sister's children, her niece and her nephew, she adopted mm -hmm. them recently. And, you know, before she was thinking more about herself. She was thinking selfishly, you know, she wants to be the greatest fighter of all time. She still wants that, but money is an issue. She has two children now. Mm -hmm. That's very important to her. And she told me that if, if someone can give her seven figures per fight, no matter who that is, that's a number that she'd have a hard time turning down. So real quick, is there an inkling out there in, in where it might go, where she might end up? No inkling yet. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's up in the air. She, she told me again last week that her focus was on this fight. She wanted to get through this fight. Obviously a big one, big payday, important fight for her. And now, you know, now she'll be a free agent and, uh, you know, we'll see where she goes. I, I, maybe a LeBron James decision uh, type <laughs> of uh, deal for Kayla Harrison. Uh, well, far be it for me to twist your arm for any more information out of this one. Mark Raimondi, good stuff tonight and much to report on in the future. Thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.